Hello everybody and welcome back to a new Dive and Life tutorial and today we're going to talk about how to create a house base. So it's very simple, we just need a operator and we're going to add a house base to this loop that I have here. It's a very basic loop with uh, one of the loops from the sample pack from Lessons in Life, which is nice which creates a nice groove. And now we need a baseline. So mostly from these house bases that you hear, these classic house bases, they just consist of a very simple uh, saw wave. Let's take a saw D in this case. So we take the oscillator of operator, take a saw D, take the envelope and make it a bit shorter. And then we put the filter down. That's all the steps we need. Now we play. We already hear like quite a bass, but now we actually want to get this house bass feeling and that is done by using a um, filter envelope. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but here on this envelope, we can set what the frequency will do over time. We have an attack decay, sustain, release, an envelope for the frequency. So if we put it up, it means actually that the filter will go up and quickly down, like down down and then you get this you get this sort of like house house bass and you can also make it more heavy to get more of this this like spike in there but i like it just a little bit and it yeah it's a bit tweaking you know between the envelope and the frequency nice so now we have this but on itself it lacks a bit of low end so another option what we can do if we use this algorithm standard your algorithm of operator will be like this but i've set it like this and then i saved as default preset so mine always opens like this that means that i can use the second oscillator to add a sine wave and take the same we can actually right click copy from envelope from oscillator a and then add some low end so this is what the sine wave is doing and we add that to this so we have this and if you're if you, i'm not sure if you're wearing headphones but i would advise you to or wear headphones or do this on your your good speakers but you will hear this low end nice now we have a full low end bass line so let's program a nice pattern here let's go down let's program it in a minor and let's do a long note and see how it goes nice dun, dun. and then it needs to jump up so we use the third of the scale let's say this and this or maybe like this and let's also add some swing i like to use some swing i love these logic swings so we add the logic 16 30 uh, 63 swing there you go. And we can actually go back down again via the, let's say, like this. We can also make this a bit longer. There you go. Maybe also have this. That's cool. So, or we duplicate it, have that one deleted here and have that, so. Now we have a, like a story that goes eight beats. So now we have a bass line. So we could also play a bit with the velocity to create some more interesting volume changes. Uh, so we can take the volume down, but as you hear, it's not really working. You can't hear the, the volume change. So let's go back into operator and go to our oscillators and we'll see that here velocity is on 0%. So we might wanna up that maybe to 40. And also for this oscillator, otherwise it doesn't listen to our velocity. So that's one thing that we need to do. Now we get a bit more bounciness. See, this one is gonna be a bit softer. And using velocity also creates a bit more interest in your bass because it creates movement, like volume movement. And then there's another bit of movement that we can do. If we go to our frequency again, in the frequency section again, we have frequency to velocity. This will tell the um, the operator that if we hit a note louder the f the filter will be more open and if we um hit the note softer the um, 
the frequency will be more close. So let's see. So we might want to move them all a bit down. So that means that we can we can have notes stick out. Maybe also this one, maybe here we can. So you can really, maybe have this go up as well. Then you also get the filter to, to move. And this way you can get super interesting moving kind of uh, filters, which is really nice because then uh, the filter moves, the velocity moves, and the whole beat becomes way more interesting than just having a bass that is constantly having the same volume and the same filter setting. So this is um, this is to summarize. This is just a house bass with like a saw wave, a sine wave, both um, going to their own output with this algorithm of uh, operator. We've set the filter quite close, and we've had. We have the envelope of the filter activated with a certain percentage, so it goes up. And we have the velocity of both the uh, oscillators also on. And this creates a nice little pattern that we've created here with some swing from the Swing Logic uh, 16th. And it creates this. more acid there so this is a nice way to create this house base um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that uh, if you like it that you will subscribe and like the video um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments so I can ask the, um, answer them for you uh, if you have any suggestions for other tutorials please leave them in the comments as well if you're curious for the Ableton um, the sample pack the lessons in life sample pack that I made feel free to go to lessonsinlife.com you'll find lots of packs there that I've uh, made there's free preset packs um, there's a, a sample pack, there's master classes available for you to, uh, to get. And um, yeah, maybe you want to follow one of my courses. I've got beginners, intermediate and advanced courses. So make sure to check out the website and I'll see you soon for another tutorial. Have a great day.